In this quick video, I'm going to show you how you can create incredibly cool, intricate designs just like these with zero design skills whatsoever, simply by taking advantage of a lesser known trick in your slicing software. In my previous video on 50 useful things you didn't know you could 3D print, I casually mentioned a couple of times that I'd simply removed top and bottom layers of a few designs in order to create something really cool and unique, as well as save filament. And I was quite surprised when quite a few of you responded asking for clarification. Now, as I always say, I read every single one of your comments and I love video requests. Hint, hint. So I wanted to do a quick video to share this tip and explain for those of you who asked. So the basic idea of this topless 3D printing thing is this. You take any design, pull it into your slicer, and then set the number of top layers to zero and or do the same for the number of bottom layers. Now, why might you wanna do this, you ask? Well, there are a few reasons and saving filament is only one of them. And I can think of no better way than to demonstrate the benefits of this than by sharing the story of my own 3D printed computer shelf brackets that I talked about before. Now, originally when designing these, I had tried to actually build in the honeycomb pattern using Blender. And I'm sure there are better ways to do this, but I did it using patterns, Boolean modifiers, and then painstakingly fixing all the edges where they merged to remove all the loose geometry. I spent hours, like, double digit numbers of hours doing this. And then when I zoomed out, I realized that I wasn't actually happy with the design. I wanted the honeycombs to be a little bit more dense and I also wanted their wall thicknesses to be a multiple of my line width so that printing wouldn't take well into the next millennium. Now this basically meant that I would have had to restart the entire project from scratch. Fortunately, I eventually landed on a much better idea, as you can see with my V3 design, which took just minutes to generate. Instead of trying to design the actual honeycombs, I would instead let the slicer do the heavy lifting. All I'd do would be design the outline of the shape that I wanted, and then I would import it into my slicer, where I could instead choose honeycomb infill with zero top and bottom layers, and then play around with the infill density to get the look I wanted. I could even combine infill every other layer, saving a ton of time and also giving me a really cool striped look inside, but not on the edges that are most visible. But this is just one of many examples of topless 3D prints and just one potential infill pattern. You could, for example, 3D print some phone cases in flexible filament, like I mentioned in my 50 plus things video, and then remove the top and bottom layers, or even just the bottom layer to create a really unique look, especially if you use something like gyroid infill. I've used the same technique to save filament and give my desk drawers a really, really cool look. And I've seen it done in a lot of beautiful designs, such as this glasses holder by Dennis P. I even did a massive wall art installation of a Bitcoin logo at a local Bitcoin exchange. And in order to save weight and filament, I offered the client an option of about 10 different infill patterns and densities. And the end result using a Hilbert curve came out really, really beautifully. Besides the fact that I actually messed up mounting the B angle. And I think the end result also really evokes the idea of blockchain with the infill invoking that kind of blockchain visualization. Or how about making these simple coasters, which are nothing but a basic rounded hexagon shape imported into the slicer and then sliced with no top layers. The little pockets catch condensation and prevent it from leaking onto the table and there were no design skills necessary or check out these really cool ventilation covers, which because they have gyroid infill, could literally never be made using any other process besides additive manufacturing. I've even seen Stefan from CNC Kitchen make his own sieve using 3D printing customized for his needs by adding the shape to his slicer, adding the cylinder and removing the top and bottom layers. Now the sky is the limit with this concept. And remember, you have a lot of different infill patterns and densities at your disposal. So play around with them. You can vary the number of perimeters to change the look of the border and how sturdy the print will be. 
Heck, you could even try printing with no top layers, no bottom layers, and no perimeters. For example, if you wanted to make a cushioning surface or just make a cool remix of a model that you like. I'd love to see what you all come up with. So share a link to the mix and all of that in the comments below. That's it for this video. Thanks so much for watching. If you wanna see more 3D printing content like this, then don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications because it really does make a huge difference for a new channel like this one. Take care and have fun printing topless.